in the harshest blizzards of winter, they are up there living, surviving. We want to know how they're doing that. Mount Rainier is a key habitat for Cascade Red Fox. Cascade Red Fox is endemic, which means that it only occurs in Washington. They live in mountain ecosystems, in subalpine parkland, so at the top of the forest before the real alpine areas start. Because of the geography of the Washington Cascades, they have become the most unique genetically among all red foxes. Having the full complement of species in the ecosystem, it's a measure of the intactness of the world around us. There's no way we could collect the number of samples, work in the number of areas, without these incredible volunteers. Do you like to hike and will you pick up poop? All plants and animals are part of our cultural heritage and understanding wildlife is part of the original stated mission of the National Park Service. When Jocelyn started her nonprofit, it was a really logical collaboration to begin because we can't do all of the work that needs to be done. The Cascades Carnivore Project is soliciting volunteers to help us so that we can cover more area and get to more locations than we could by ourselves. People care about having places to go that are wild. They care that our ecosystems are healthy. People care to know that there's wild animals out there even if they might not see them. You can contribute to this project in really meaningful ways. You don't need to have a PhD to follow the protocols. If you can follow directions, you are a scientist. You are actively helping to contribute to carnivore conservation. 1,500 samples have been contributed to the Cascade Carnivore Project. That was one scat at a time.